Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my updated Pandora collection video. I did my original Pandora video a few months back, probably almost a year ago now, and um, my collection has grown since then and it's been highly requested. So I thought I would do an updated collection. If you'd like to see my original video, I will link it up here as well, as well as down there. Also, it'd be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel. That way you would never miss another video. I also have an Instagram and a Pinterest and a Facebook and a Twitter and all those good things. All those links will be down below, so don't forget to check them out. But if you want to see my updated collection, then just keep watching. So this is the box that I keep all of my Pandora jewelry in, as well as a few other pieces. This is an actual Pandora jewelry box. It has a mirror up here, which you can't see. Um, but in here, it has these cool bars where you can put charms that you're not currently using. So these are ones that I currently aren't using, so I just pop them up here. Um, here it has a spot for rings that you can put rings in. Obviously bangles and bracelets, that sort of thing. And over here, it's kind of an anything box. So I put some earrings in. Only one pair of earrings in here are Pandora and it's those ones there, but I'll show you them later. This box I did get from, from Pandora with a promotion that they were doing a few years ago. I know they are still floating around though, so yeah. Okay, so this is all of my Pandora jewelry out of my box. So I've got three uh, regular bracelets here. This one I don't have anything on because I don't really know what to do with it. Um, it's a smaller size than these two. These two are the 19 and that's the 17. So, And I do like the 19 size, so I might sell it. We'll see. And then I've got two bangles here. Then that's all my charms that I'm currently not wearing on a bracelet. And then all of my rings there. And then the pair of earrings that I have are sitting right there. So this is my purple bracelet. As you can see, I've got a lot of space left on it to add to it, which I really like. It's Pandora. I'm always coming out with really nice purple, um, purple charms. And uh, in their spring collection, which is coming out very soon, there is a lot of floral purple pieces, so I'm pretty excited for that. All right, so first up on this bracelet, we have the interlocking hoop charm. This one is now discontinued. It's retired, unfortunately, but it's just predominantly silver with a purple zirconia. I'm pretty sure it's a zirconia uh, with some gold uh, claws keeping it in. And Tim bought this one for me as just a surprise gift. This next one here is just the Orchid Hanging Charm. This one is still available, which is nice because it's a really, really pretty charm. So as you can see, it's got that beautiful orchid hanging down as well as a little purple cubic zirconia in the flower and then uh, Parve Clear cubic zirconia is going around the outside of this one. Um, I bought this one with my mum when we went to Sydney last year in September, I think it was. Um, so we just bought that one together just to sort of symbolize that trip. This next one was on my wish list for a very long time. This one is the pink and purple Parve ball. And as you can see, it's got different sizes and colors of pink and purple cubic zirconia. And I just absolutely love it. It is so pretty. I have a clip on this bracelet, uh, which is very similar to this one, but I'll show you that later on. Um, but yeah, it's just a really, really pretty, pretty color. And I bought this one secondhand from a like a buy swap sell Pandora group on Facebook that I'm a part of. This next one here is called the Purple Princess uh, Spacer and it's just silver with uh, purple cubic zirconias and my mum bought this one for me for Christmas 2014 I believe it was. Yeah, just, just for Christmas, um, purple bracelet, purple spacer, yep, self-explanatory. <laughs> uh, this one is also retired, I forgot to mention. So moving on to my first clip on my bracelet. This is the sparkling tote clip, it's called. So it's mostly silver with a little bit of gold around the outside of the purple cubic zirconia. Uh, this one is retired, unfortunately. I didn't really get it to represent anything. I suppose it could represent my love of handbags because I do have a love of handbags. Um, but I got it over in Hawaii when we were there in 2013, I think it was. Another purple spacer. This is the purple Northern Lights spacer. It is retired, unfortunately. I'm so sad they retired this whole line because they were such good, affordable, like colorful spacers. But 
oh well. Um, so it's just purple cubic zirconia and it's a nice little spacer. So onto one of my newer ones. This is the purple Murano glass dangle charm. Um, this one was recently retired at the end of 2015. So I picked this one up for about 20 or 30 dollars cheaper than what they normally sell it so that was nice and it was on my on my wish list for a very long time and I was pretty sad to see it go but I was happy I was able to buy it because it's so pretty I just love all the the cut glass because it picks up the light really really nicely it kind of looks dark on camera but it's just a nice light purple this next one here is the purple sparkling football charm um we call it soccer in Australia, so it's just the soccer ball charm to me. Tim bought this one for me uh, because he loves soccer <laughs> and he knew that this bracelet was purple. So this is like the first charm that Tim ever bought me when I got my first bracelet. 2011 I bought my first charm bracelet. So yeah, this is the first charm he bought me. But yeah, it is retired now. It came out with a few different colours like blue and green and like a reddy pink and they were so pretty but yeah they've they've been retired for a while now my next charm as you can obviously tell is the statue of liberty and on the bottom it has like a little love heart and then around i don't know if you can see it somehow but around the outside there it says new york yeah you can kind of see that it has like a little love heart that's really really cute but yes it is retired now and I don't understand why they retired it because pretty much everyone who travels to New York and wants to get a charm to represent that would want to buy this one so yeah I don't know Pandora you've you've retired a lot of my favorite charms so this is that clip that I was talking about that looked similar to that mixed pave ball charm that I have so this one is called the Cosmic Stars Purple Fixed Clip Charm and just like the other pave charm it has different colors and sizes of pink and purple um, cubic zirconia so I think it's just pretty it's like the, one of the prettiest clips I think Pandora does it comes in two three I think it comes in three different colors one that is clear and then another that is like slightly more like pastel than this one I bought this one um, when I did a trip to Sydney in April last year. Oh, by the way, the New York one is to represent my trip to New York with my mum in 2009. This next one here is just a clear cubic zirconia pave spacer and Tim bought this one for me for Christmas 2014. This next one here is the Friends Forever um, dangle now it comes in two pieces like those necklaces like you got when you were a kid so it comes in two pieces and my mom has the other half because I bought this for it was either her birthday or for Christmas and I kept one half and I gave her the other if you can see on the inside which it kind of can't it says um, friends forever in there oh there you go you can see that uh, so that's really cute and that one's still available which is nice these were some of my favorite by Pandora, but they've retired them again. Oh, these ones are called the Oval Lights, and I got this one in a purple. I wanted the ready pink one as well, but I wasn't quick enough to get that one, unfortunately. But yeah, these are retired, but it just adds a really nice pop of purple to my bracelet. This one I got in Hawaii in 2013, so it doesn't really represent anything in particular, but I did get it over there. And then the last charm on my bracelet, this one was from Tim for my birthday in 2011, I think it was. Uh, this one is an amethyst drop dangle charm and it is retired unfortunately, but it's really pretty. It's got this really nice rope design up here. And then of course I've got the uh, gold love hearts uh, safety chain on this bracelet and this is my other bracelet so this one is pink and gold themed and it's also my Tim bracelet so any brace any charm that um, I bought for a special occasion like an anniversary or anything or just something Tim's bought me that fits this theme then it'll go on here so first of all the bracelet that it's on has the pave clasp which I really like because it's kind of like having just another Pandora charm on there, another sparkly charm. So moving on to the first charm, this one is the Forever Together charm. This one is now retired which I'm very sad about because I think it's really nice. Um, anyway, I bought it for to represent 
our first wedding anniversary and then I got the um, date engraved on the back there, the 22nd of October 2011. Wow, that seems so long ago. Um, yeah, that represents our, our wedding anniversary, our first wedding anniversary. My next charm is actually the little ballerina. So it's called the ballerina hanging charm and obviously it's not Tim related but I do love dance so you'll see a, a, a recurring theme with the dance charms. I've got quite a few. Uh, this one my mum bought for me for my birthday in 2015 and I think it's really cute. She's got uh, little clear zip, cubic zirconias on her tutu and then around um, the band up here and it's still available it's not retired <laughs> this is my first and only gold charm this one is called the open vine uh, spacer charm and it's fully 14 karat gold which is nice got a little bit of gold on here um, this one is now retired which is a little bit sad again I bought this one in Hawaii in 2013 when we are over there this next one here is really really super cute so it's called the first dance and basically it is the bride and then on the other side is the groom and I think it's adorable and they're dancing look at that it's their first dance at their wedding which I think is very very cute this one I got um, again when they did a massive retirement at the end of 2015 because this one represents our third wedding anniversary in 2014 this is my latest charm this one I got last month for Valentine's Day from Tim and this one's called the love locks charm and as you can see it's got the large heart padlock and then the smaller one this one is gold and this one's silver and they're both covered in pave cubic zirconias which oh it's just so so cute and I didn't even show Tim this one I didn't even tell him that you know I liked it and that this is like a two-tone uh, themed bracelet and he did so well he did so well so I was very very surprised that he got me this one for Valentine's Day I think this one is also from the 2016 Valentine's Day collection which I actually have a mini um, video on sharing the collection uh, a first look so if you'd like to see that video then just click above next I have my first clip and this is the pink pave hearts clip it's silver with a pink heart on both sides as you can see uh, the pink is like a nice deep pink that's the kind of pink that I like I'm not the biggest fan of the really light pink so this is more of a deeper ready pink which I really like this one I did get to represent something but I can't remember what um, but it's pink and it's a heart and it deserves to be on this bracelet and it's also still available too it hasn't been retired this next charm here is called the music note dangle charm and my friend bought this one for my birthday back in 2011 I think it was quite a while ago it is now retired she bought this one this one for me because she feels it represents how Tim and I kind of first met or first brought together which was through music he was producing and mixing a song and I was a bit of a vocalist for it and that's kind of how we met so yes <laughs> this next one here is a present from Tim I think it was for a birthday possibly in 2013 so it's just a bouquet of flowers with a little gold plate on the front that says love it is retired um, but yeah it's just a, a really cute charm this next one here is called the Ballet Slipper Hanging Charm. It's from their recent 2015 Retired series. Um, this, again, this one was on my wish list for a while and it's not even that old. I think it only came out last year and they're already retiring it. But anyway, it was on my, on my wish list and when I saw that it was being retired and not available, I knew I had to pick it up. So again, I got it for a really good price and I just think it's adorable because it's covered covered in cubic zirconias and you know I like the I like the sparkly charms the most I'm, I'm not afraid to admit uh, as you can see it's got the bow up the top here with a little cubic zirconia in the middle and I just think it's adorable this next one here is called the wedding rings pillow charm and as you can see it's a little 
pillow with two wedding rings on it. One has, uh, they're both gold by the way, and then one has a little tiny diamond in the ring to represent the ladies ring. And of course I got this one just before we got married in 2011 to represent our wedding day. And this one is also retired. This one here is called the Pink Follow the Stars Silver Charm. It's not retired, it's still available. So as you can see, it's that Parve ball style um, charm, except it has these pink stars going all the way across it. Uh, it does come in a different one as well. I think the other color might be blue and clear. I'm not quite sure. My friend does have it, but I can't remember what it looks like. Um, Tim got this one for me for Christmas 2014. Yes, 2014 he got this for me for Christmas. So then my other clip on this bracelet is called the Pink Scroll Clip and it is retired. The stone in the middle is like a, a vibrant hot pink sapphire with a little bit of 14 karat gold around the outside and then it has the same on the other side as well. This one is nothing special. Um, I think I just bought it because I needed a, another clip for this bracelet and it was pink and gold. But yeah, I did buy this one quite a while ago. I think I did buy it three or four years ago. This next one is called Key to My Heart Silver and Gold Padlock Heart Charm. And as you can see, the key is gold. It does come in a silver version where the key is just silver and not gold. But I got the gold version. I got this to represent our six month wedding anniversary. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see, but on the sides, I got our names engraved. So you can see Carly out there. <laughs> and then Tim on this side. It's a little bit harder to see, but I got Tim on that side there. But that was really cute, and it's not retired. It's still available. This next one here is called the Turtle Dove Silver Hanging Charm, and it is retired. So it's just two little lovebirds and um, with a little dangle heart down the bottom which says love and I think on the other side it says you. Yes, it does love you which is really cute. Tim bought this one for me again as just a little surprise gift, you know, I love you. I think he was away on a business trip or something and then he just got this for me and, and brought it back. Um, but yeah, that's really cute and it sits retired. So this next charm here is called the Faith Hope Love Silver Hanging Charm and it is retired. So you've got the love heart um, obviously to represent love, the cross to represent faith and then the hope is the anchor back there. I bought this one to represent our second wedding anniversary. It also has a cute little pink cubic zirconia there. Um, I did mean to get it engraved on the back but I haven't actually done that. I should get that done. I'm just not quite sure what I would put on the back. I don't know if I'd put like a number two or something. I don't know but yeah that one's really cute. And then lastly, I have the Seashore Charm. This one I bought in Hawaii on our honeymoon when we went there in 2011. So as you can see, there's like a little starfish on the shell and that's in gold, which is nice, a little bit of gold. And then it's the same on the other side as well. And this one is retired. So this is my first bangle that I got. I got it with a Christmas promotion in 2014. But this is my Christmas bangle and it's looking a little bare at the moment but throughout the year I'll gather a few bits and pieces and add to it. Okay so the first charm on my Christmas bangle is the Christmas tree charm. So Tim bought this one for me for our first Christmas together as husband and wife in 2011. And as you can see, the little star on top is gold. This one is also retired. This next one here is called the Reindeer Silver Hanging Charm. And he is retired. Unfortunately, they retired him in 2015 at the end of last year. Um, but he is really, really cute. Uh, I wanted him for quite a while. And I just love him because he, he looks like he's prancing, you know, through the air with the sleigh behind him or whatever. Um, but yeah, he's really cute. And he wasn't expensive at all. Um, I think he was like $35. So definitely one of their cheapest charms. This next one here is called the Christmas Pudding. And he's not retired, so you can still get this one. 
I think this one is adorable. I got this one to represent Christmas 2014. And so as you can see, it's got the Christmas pudding design. So it's got the brown enamel down there and then a little bit of silver separating the white enamel for the icing. And then you've got the decorations on top, the like holly and berries and that sort of thing, which is really, really cute. I think is adorable. This sparkling snowflake pendant has literally been on my wish list for like three years now. So it's not an actual charm, it's actually a like a necklace pendant. But a lot of people do wear them on their bangles and their bracelets. Uh, so I've been wanting this one for a while and it's still available. Um, it was only $59 and it's, you know, quite a decent size. Like when you compare it next to... Um, you know these other charms you know it's a good size and it doesn't it doesn't look too big or too silly I think it's it's really nice this next charm here is called the happy snowman he's still available as well this one I got for Christmas in 2015 from my mum and I just thought this was adorable like when I put this on my wish list for her I knew she'd get it because she herself loves this charm and she has it so I knew she'd get it for me um, but yeah, it's just the white enamel and then he's wearing a cute little red enamel scarf and his little hat's tipped to the side, which I think is adorable. And I think he just goes perfect on a Christmas bangle. Next up, we have the candy cane and this is probably my favorite Christmas charm. This one is still available and I just love it. It's got the red enamel and the silver and it's just perfect. It's perfect for a Christmas themed bracelet. Oh, by the way, the candy cane, I think I got that for Christmas in 2013 to represent Christmas. Um, moving on to my last Christmas charm. This is the red pine cone charm. Now this one is retired. They did retire it in 2015, but it's got the red enamel bow there and it's adorable. I got this one for Christmas in 2014 from my in-laws and like they know me they know I love Christmas and Pandora so they did pretty darn well and then lastly this is my latest bangle and it's probably going to be like a blue and silver sort of theme and I got this bangle with the Christmas promotion that they did last year so it has the little bow hearts on either side of the clasp so this first charm here is called the Iridescent Blue Faceted Murano Glass Charm. Now this is actually my first Murano Glass Charm. I've never really been a big fan of them in the past, but then they started coming out with these that have like this it's like silver glitter or foil throughout the middle and I think they look so, so beautiful. Um, on the side it's just your, a little bit hard to show, but it's just your classic like Murano uh, charm, what it looks like, but this is faceted. I do prefer the faceted uh, Muranos uh, uh, over the smooth ones, like faceted, if you don't know what that means, it just means that how it's cut, but I just think it's stunning. I mean, each one is different. I just, I just, I love looking at these. They're actually coming out with some amazing new faceted uh, foiled Muranos and I just can't wait to look at them in real life because they look so so pretty. This next one here is called the crystallized snowflake hanging charm. So basically it's just exactly what the name suggests. It is a crystallized looking snowflake so it's got actual like blue crystal mixed amongst the uh, clear cubic zirconia. By the way, these ones I just bought for Christmas last year, just as like a little present for myself. Um, this one is just your silver clear cubic zirconia parve ball, so it looks the same the whole way around. It's the first parve ball that I ever bought. I bought this one in Hawaii in 2013, and they are still available today. And the last charm on this bracelet is the Disney Cinderella Sparkling Slipper Hanging Charm. Now this one, my mum bought for me for Christmas last year in 2015, and I just, I just love the whole Disney range, the Cinderella Disney range. So as you can see, it's got blue cubic zirconias on the shoe and it's such a nice shoe design as well, a cute shape. Uh, on the inside it does say 
Disney. I don't know if you can read that. There you go. It says Disney there. And with this bangle being the blue theme, I think it fits pretty well. Now these are the charms that don't really fit in with any of my bracelets, although I probably could put this on my pink and gold um, Tim theme bracelet because it does have a gold and pink stone underneath. This one is called the Fairy Tale Castle. Uh, this one is still available so you can still buy it in shops. I got this one from my mum for my 2014 birthday, I do believe it was. I just love it. I, I'm obsessed with Disney castles so that is, that is really, really cute. This next charm here is the first charm that I ever bought and it is to represent the royal wedding of Princess Kate to Prince William. So it's got the blue stone, the same as her engagement ring, except of course this one is cubic zirconia, not sapphire, but anyway. Uh, and then on the back it's got C and W for Catherine and William. So that was my first Pandora charm I ever got. It's actually the charm that kind of made me want to get a Pandora bracelet. This next charm here, uh, this is the Star of David and it's to represent my trip to Israel that I took in 2009. Um, it's now retired and I know it did come in just the plain silver as well. I got the one with the gold um, star. This next one here is so stunning but it just doesn't fit on any of my themed bracelets. Um, so this one is the starfish charm. It is now retired. Uh, but it's so, so pretty. Definitely one of my favorite Pandora charms. And it's just got starfish all the way around. I think three, three starfish uh, with a cubic zirconia stone in the middle. And it's just that gorgeous turquoise color. This one here is called, now I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, um, Kokeshi Japanese Doll. Now I bought this one um, after I got back from my Beauty Bound Asia trip to Tokyo, Japan last year in November. Now myself and a few of the other finalists, we all like had Pandora bracelets. So we were all like wondering what, what charm we could get to represent our Beauty Bound Asia trip. And um, I know myself and another girl, Carice, we both decided to get this one. <laughs> and she took photos of in the shop when she got hers and then I sent her a photo of when I got mine. And yeah, it's just something cute we can share. The next charm here is this, the little ballet slippers. It is retired and my mum bought this for my birthday and it would have been in 2011. And I think for that same birthday, she also got me the teacup and saucer, which is also retired. Uh, yeah, in 2011. So this is the one set of Pandora earrings that I own. These are called the Crystallized Snowflake Studs and they are still available. All right, so on to my rings. This one is called the Sparkling Leaves Silver Banded Ring. This one is still available. I really like it for stacking. Um, I got this one in a 52 because that is the size of my ring finger. Um, so I like wearing it on my ring finger. Uh, but yeah, it's just like a vintage sort of feel to it, I feel. Uh, but I, I really like it. That's clear cubic zirconias uh, throughout the, the whole band. Uh, the next one here is the love ring. So as you can see, it spells out love and it's got cubic zirconias on it. This one from was from the 2015 Valentine's Day collection, but it was retired. Uh, at the end of 2015 with a big retirement so it's no longer available but I got this one in a size 52 as well because I do like stacking it with this one I think it looks really sweet really nice this next one here is called the Trail of Stars Silver Ring and it's still available. This one I think was released in 2014 in the winter collection because it was all about stars and blue I do believe. This one is called the Sparkling Droplets Ring and it is a fantastic ring to get for stacking. It's only $49. It's still available. Um, and it's great for stacking with anything like this other little um, silver ring. Like just that together looks so simple and sweet. Um, I can also wear it with this primrose ring here. 
and um, yeah it just looks really really simple and nice and and cute. This next one is called the Victory in Peace Laurel Wreath Silver Ring. Now I just love this design. You're going to see uh, a few flashy rings here because I do tend to um, be drawn towards the more extravagant rings but I love wearing this one and I pretty much only wear this one on my right thumb. I really like thumb rings, they're my kind of thing. This next one here is pretty flashy and pretty showy. It's definitely a statement piece that you wear with no other ring. This one is called the Majestic Feathers Ring and it came out in the 2015 Autumn Collection. And oh, when I first saw the pictures, like the promo pictures, like this ring was all over them. And I was like, oh my gosh, if I only get one ring, I have to get this one. And like, the day that the collection came out, in fact the day before, because a lot of Pandora's do that, they um, they let you buy the collection the day before it comes out. Um, I went in like 9am as soon as the shop opened and I bought it because it's just such a stunning, stunning ring. And this one is still available as well. This one is called the Sterling Silver Ring with Light Coloured Amethyst. Uh, interesting name. This one is now retired but it was my first ever Pandora ring. I used to hate Pandora rings. When I first started collecting Pandora I looked at the rings and was like oh they are so ugly. But I feel like over the past you know a couple of years Pandora have really been picking up their game with their rings and they're just getting so so beautiful like I think I'm I think I love the rings more than anything really I'm very much a ring person um but I saw this ring on I think just one of my friends and I was like man that's really nice and I bet you that's a Pandora ring and it was and so that sparked my first love of Pandora rings so Tim got this one for my birthday I think it was I think it was 2012 um, that he got this for me. It may have been 2013, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's a gorgeous amethyst stone there. I really do like purple stones. This one is called the Dazzling Daisy Ring and it's still available currently. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, I have to admit. Um, I do, you know, kind of rarely wear it. Well, I bought it along with another ring so that I could get a buy to get one free sort of deal. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of it to be honest. Um, I think it's because the petals are quite thin. Maybe if the petals were a bit wider, a bit thicker, I'd like it a little bit more. This next ring here is just so, so gorgeous and it is my newest ring. I got this one for Christmas last year, 2015, from my brother. This one is called the White Primrose Ring and it is just stunning. It's still available. It comes as various different things like there's a set of earrings, there's also a couple of charms that has this white primrose design. I just think it's so pretty. It's just stunning to wear by itself with no other rings. It's just delicate and simple and I really like the combination of the white enamel with the silver and the cubic zirconia and um, also the petals look like little love hearts. So it's a really adorable ring. This one here is called the Midnight Blue Cosmic Star Silver Ring. It's actually retired now, um, but as you can see, it has the the midnight blue crystals going the entire way around it, along with the clear cubic zirconias. Um, I don't wear this one as often as I wear my others because again, it's more of a statement piece. When I wear it, I normally wear it uh, with my star ring just because they're both from the same collection and they're both kind of, you know, like a cosmic stars sort of theme. But also the rings that kind of have this cutout, like if you can see back there, it has that cutout there. They can get like a little bit uncomfortable, I guess you could say. Now I'm surprised they retired these ones, but this is um, just a, basically an eternity band um, with cubic uh, purple cubic zirconia is going the whole way around. Um, it's a really nice one. I like to pair it with this one here, my, my purple amethyst ring because I think that goes really nicely and then I'll also add this one which I haven't shown yet but I've or talked about yet but I've shown it a couple of times. And I just think that set there, that, that nice stack, 
it looks really nice you know you got the different textures and shapes and I really like that but back to this one um, yeah this one is now retired it came in like multiple different colors but it's now retired it's more of a thicker band as you can see it's it's quite thick so it it really um, like stands out from your finger whereas if you compare it to the sparkling droplets ring there's quite a bit of a difference there quite a bit of um, yeah it, it pops out a lot more which can make it a bit uncomfortable um, between your fingers but still it's a really nice pop of purple so I really like it and then lastly I have the basic bubble silver ring which really it was kind of a ring that I saw from Pandora years and years ago before I owned any Pandora rings and I thought that's different I like it I like how it's not just one plain smooth silver band I like how it's like tiny little balls all joined together I really like that for some reason I didn't buy it for quite a number of years I only bought it like in July June or July last year um, with that ring promo like I got that one I got the sparkling droplets and then I got the dazzling daisy ring actually that little combo is quite cute quite nice but then again this one here that's a 52 and these two are are 54s if you'd like me to do a video on how I style and stack my Pandora rings then just let me know and I will do that for you and I'll show you I'll show you how I style all of these rings that I have down here and I'm sure by the time that I do do that video I will have more rings to show you <laughs> So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget if you want to see my original collection video, I will link it down below. But thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.